Seku, what go on? Question. Bojo Bantan, people them out there kind of wonder how him get deported and now he's back in the United States. Yeah. If I be real, Tom God come find song and teach you in a fire maker song. No. So real to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sit back and vibe. It's another Valley exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Viewers and subscribers, dancer artist Niji Boy recently linked up with Masi Kayazimi. <laughs> now, Niji Boy was recently honored in New York, Yazimi, for a lot of things we have gone with in a dancer, although I'm visually impaired. Every song the G Jab eat. Yazimi, for an boss for a Russian, give me a chance and drop him for the rhythm. Yazimi, the G career take off from that Yazimi until some people are say, yo, I him the come for safe dance all. Yazimi, well, we feel in the overdo it so mighty, Yazimi, but him is a good DJ nonetheless. And him a do a hundred times better than some so called dance all artists, Yazimi. So I'll play the clippings and you the viewers get and make me know what no pre about that. And for all of my first time viewers them just click the subscribe button so you never miss a next update, you see me? And he doesn't know this is happening. But I'd like to introduce you to Nigel Hector. Also known as Nigel Boy. So if you don't know, he has over 550,000 followers on Instagram. He has over 233,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. He has over 160,000 streams last week for his newest song, Judgment, on Spotify. Um, so Nigel Hector, also known as Nigel Boy, has also been my intern, and he hails from Springfield Gardens, Queens. So while we have him here, I would like to introduce, if you don't know this, he's my intern. Um, but he's a reggae superstar, and a tra on most, most weekends he could be in Guyana, Jamaica, um, what other places, Bahamas, but he has a huge tour and he'll be at UBS Arena this Friday. Um, so I would like to introduce, like you to please give him the cordialities of the house while we have him. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Certainly, on behalf of Ms. Hyman, the Speaker, and all the members, we welcome you here to the New York State Assembly, extend to you the privileges of the floor. Thank you for your contribution to music and arts and such an incredible following. Also, we look forward to hearing you at UPS. Continue your great work. Know you're always welcome. Thank you, sir. No, that's a good look for Niji Boy viewers and subscribers, you see me? And as I said before, all I music them when put out it, you see me? Yeah, he might go on good and see him link up with Massacre the same way we don't know if we go get a collab or but it would have good if we get a collab, you see me? Cause you know say Massacre it make a for a man in you see me. Carrier done, Valen Valen find go find bubblegum, go find lumber, lumber. You are subscriber will change up climate, you see me? Now recently Jeffrey and walk and talk, cause that's all him do. Well, them basically come up on toxic talk, or let's be honest. To the amount of video them have come up, we don't remember which channel them have upload from. You see me? Now, them basically, I say, yo, TJ no find a hit song from him, get GIF. You see me? And Valiant come back and find hit song, which is Lumba, our next one. You see me? Well, me yet to burst for them bubbling, you see me? But, Lumba and this song is not a hit song, bro. It's not a hit song, they're hot. They're hot in the street. That's, there's nothing else out there to listen to. All I artists them are singing the same thing. So when a song gets hot, it's not because it's all that good or it's a hit song. It just gets hot because it's better than the rest. You see me? Now, TJ Drift is a massive song. You see me? It's been featured in Fortnite, the video game. You see me? And everybody has go crazy about it. Now they must say, yo, TJ, they run up and down with him one song. You see me? And him to go look for a new song. A hot song is not a hit song. You see me? It could have hit if them put the marketing back at it like the TJ I put back at it. You see me? So, no fighting them when they say in an interview. Me not agree with it none at all. You see me? But I say it was controversy. You see me? And me realize that them always are pin up valiant against somebody. 
the whole of Valley and career. As in me, a music do that to Mr. Pin the youth against other artists for competition. As in me, some more play clippings and I could not hear with them the talk about. See then uh, Valiant Carrier, then uh, Valiant Valiant fine go find bubblegum, go find lumber, lumber, you go find one except me again. So in carrier done. Mm. But you know, you know, you know crazy. No, I don't want to answer that, I can't take it, but I'm free to have a podcast. Yo, you're on a podcast. You're on a podcast. You're on a podcast. Touch me. You're on a stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold back. All right, true. If you want to be real, if you want to be real. Stop it, man. I'll stop it. Stop it, man. 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 If you want to be real, you know. Yeah, man. Talk, man. Don't come find a song and TG and find out a song. No. <laughs> if I'm real. So real to me. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm real. Yeah. No, I'm mean, be honest yeah. because yeah. in yeah. last, no, Miria, Miria TJ um, EP when yeah. drop, I am Chippy. Yeah. Love the song with him and Baker. Yeah, I love Ben's song. Uh, man, <laughs> really? I'm a, I'm a tune, isn't it? But if I'm real. Yeah. yeah. The last hit song TJ yeah. had was Drift. Yeah. And him still a work that song because that song that still have more potential and more growing to do. Uh-huh. Him a work song like an actual song supposed to be work, but him not find back a song yet. No viewers and subscribers, if me I be real, me not see comparison with TJ and Valiant, you see me? Because if we I be real, TJ is a bigger artist than Valiant, you see me? By far. Valiant just bust the other day, get a couple of hits and him even get a good ear for run dance hall, you see me? Yeah, TJ been a dwee, you see me? The only reason make them a compare TJ with Valiant is because him get the hits and GIF when are the young youth them a run the thing, you see me? So they start comparing him with the young youth them because him get a hit song in a them era, you see me? And if we are be real, when TJ bust, we don't know about Valiant. We don't know about Valiant, you know. I was there, I know a year ago good we know about Valiant, you know. We know about TJ a long time, you know. You see me? And TJ dropped it from then time to till now, you know. You see me? He may think me a good on for level because he went to link with Ramesh. Uh, everybody knows that Ramesh has a business about Shensia career. So if you did go over there and expect you to get bigger, you better you did stay where you did there. See, same thing happened with Valiant there, you see me? But they now going to talk about that because they are Ramesh a friend. And me feel all of this where them do wanna talk about I fi give Valiant a little boss boss, you see me? Because you have to remember say them are all friends. You see me? Jeffrey Walk and Talk and Valiant, them are good friends, them par. You see me? So when you hear them say certain things about other artists and a big up Valiant, you know where it a come from. So no, just make me know when you are pretty about that in the comment section. No viewers and subscribers. Them did say some other interesting things in the interview, you see me? Not relating to TJ, but to Bojo Bantan and regard towards him. Visa reinstatement and him being back in America, you see me? Because him when they get a lot of backlash, they say, yo, oh, him get deep and him get back in visa so fast. Seku, what go on? Yo, my dear man. Your life on the podcast. Question, Bojo Bantan, was he deported? Yes, he was. Okay, okay, I get you. No, 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 no. He's back. He's back. Um, in in the United States. Can can you explain that to the people them out there where kind of wonder how him get deported and now he's back in the United States? All right. So I mean, he was deported. Um, almost exactly eight years ago. The reason why he was deported was because he was in the U.S. on on a visitor's visa and he was convicted for drug-related charges, which as you know, anything drug-related near here inadmissible to the U.S. So he was deported, did, uh, did some time. So typically, you cannot return to the U.S. after deportation until 10 years. So people ask him, well, it's been here. How comes him reach back? Well, as you know, Bojo Bantan is a Grammy-winning artist. So more likely than not, and there are three things that I came up with, but the most popular reason is a uh, non-immigrant visa waiver. So a non-immigrant visa waiver would be like a working visa, right? Obviously, he's an artist, and and it's a waiver. Waivers are something that is filed anytime you have inadmissibility issues going into the U.S. So either drug charges, um, certain type of convictions, or you've been previously deported. So. In a, per, in, a, in, a, in a situation like his, the 
because he's an icon, because he has won a Grammy, and I'm sure he has really good character witnesses who can speak to his credibility and that he's non-violent and that he his presence in the in the US will be more beneficial than not beneficial, then he would have a strong non-immigrant visa waiver. Okay.